Alright, so the first thing I want to point out is the fact that you have these this nice black border around the edge of each page. This makes it a whole lot easier to scan. Um, this is my first time trying to do a voiceover, so we'll just see how this goes. I usually try to record my voice as I'm recording the video, but this one's going to be a little bit more goofy. So anyway, I'm using TurboScan here. Uh, as of now, I believe it's the best app to use with the binder, especially um, now that I prefer using GDoc binders, which um, we'll get to here in a second. But as you can see, it's a very straightforward app. I believe it costs 99 cents uh, in the Android store. Um, but and I think it's like $2.99 for iTunes so it's available both Android and iPhone I like that uh, you'll notice on this scan I felt like I sh like it wasn't I didn't hold the camera as steady so I'm gonna repeat the scan uh, everything's just very intuitive I like it I like it a lot the one thing that I've already mentioned to them that I would like them to do the only change that I would like to see in the app is torch mode basically I want the flash to be able to remain on uh, rather than just flashing whenever I snap the, the photo. Hopefully they'll add that feature pretty soon, we'll see. But even if they don't, it's not that bad. Um, so, there's five pages here. I probably could have done this faster if I was using two hands, but if you'll notice, especially in this shot, I believe the camera gets a little shaky. Uh, I'm trying to hold a, a Kindle Fire tablet, and it's a front-facing camera. It's just a really goofy orientation. My arm was getting tired. So anyway, uh, so as you can tell, it's again, it's very straightforward, very easy. The the black borders around the pages makes it very easy for the app to find the corners. Um, stalling now. Come on, Pete, finish the final scan. There you go. All right. So, and you notice every now and then it'll like prompt me to find the corners for it. You know, it'll kind of show me the preview. And then uh, other times, if you go back and watch during the video it it goes ahead and it just guesses I don't even have to check and say yes that's good it, it just assumes hey we found all the corners this is good and that feature that you saw me do right there is share email to myself that's probably my favorite part of this app there's little little nuggets in this app like that where you can preset everything you can tell it beforehand this is my email um, this is how I want the email to look whenever I send it to myself you kind of preset stuff like that and then you just hit share send to myself gmail send that's it and so it goes straight to my email it makes the subject of the email the name of the file i went ahead and added that to the body of the email as well now now it's very organized i love it it's already in my email it's, it already has its name date everything i hit uh download and now I've, just like that i've got it on my computer again not only with the the name the date but also like the time of day. That's that's a very nice feature. So as you can see, once you've downloaded it, you can open it in Adobe. Adobe Reader, I believe. Adobe Reader 11 is what I'm using. So their latest, if you don't already have it, I recommend getting it because it allows you to do things like what I'm about to do. You can uh, not only view PDFs now, but it gives you the option to annotate. And it's very intuitive. I mean, it, it takes a second, you know, to, to you have to play with it a little bit to get the hang of it, but it's uh, it's very, very convenient. And it makes it a lot easier to handle digital files. That's the one thing that you miss out on. Whenever you go digital, uh, it, become, it can become more difficult to just do simple annotations to your notes, whereas before, you just pull out your pencil and you draw over what you had before. Uh, but little things like this uh, go a long way to bridge the gap. Anyway, so I definitely recommend Adobe Reader. What you're seeing me do now is opening up GDoc binders. I'm going to create a new one from a template to say OK. So this th this right here, what you're seeing, it it turns the whole going paperless thing into a video game for me. It's it's amazing. So now I'm I feel like I'm I'm still dealing with a typical three ring binder, or I guess four ring in this case. Um, so I can go find that file that I had, import it and it converts it and again it can be PDF, it can be Microsoft Word, any number of like PowerPoint, any kind of file, any picture you can drag into this folder, this GDoc binder and now all of a sudden it's very intuitive. You know exactly where your files are at. You can sync this with your Dropbox so it shows up on every computer that you own that has Dropbox with your account installed. Uh, you can change the cover as you see I'm doing here. Now I'm going to skip a little bit here because the 
it's such a huge file, so it took about 10, 15 seconds, and I don't want to waste your time like that. Anyway, so anyway, you can, again, you can customize the cover. You right-click properties, gives you the option to change the color of the cover. But if you hit cover and then edit, you can open it up in a photo editing. It, it immediately opens it up in a photo editing um, viewer. So you can edit the cover. And you notice this is a landscape photo, so it kind of makes it smaller. It's going to make it as big as possible um, depending on if it's landscape or portrait. So I trimmed the sides a little bit, so now it's going to blow it up a little bit because uh, it's trying to fit in that cover. So anyway, so as you can see, I can just drag this file down to another tab. Boom, it immediately drops it there. You can see, the, I don't know, it's just super intuitive. It's super convenient. You can add up to, I believe, 32 tabs per binder. And I believe the files that you can add to it are unlimited. Um, the, the file size becomes your only uh, drawback here. So anyway, as you can see, even, even now I can annotate these files. Uh, so I can zoom in really close and write out something. This, this will take a little while. I'm going to ramble here so you don't get completely bored as I'm writing out. I'm doing well. Anyway, so... As you can see, it, it's really, I'm using blue here. I could use any of the three options for pen size. I can add pictures. I can even add a video to this page. It's, uh, it's very, very smooth, very sleek. I love it. Uh, if you want any more information, um, uh, go to infinitybinder.com. And thanks for watching. Please like and share. Have a good day.